Oh, hey, welcome to my garage. We're gonna go over how to replace the sway bar link ends in my 2014 Silverado and the sway bar bushings as well. So uh, hopefully I don't drop my phone more than I already have today. Enjoy the video. Checking your sway bars and their bushings is pretty straightforward. Visual inspection will go a long way. Um, you can see these bushings here actually look pretty good. Everything's intact. Coming here to the sway bar where it mounts to the to the frame. You know, these look like they're in decent condition. Coming over here to the other side. Again, not much to see here. This rubber is, uh, it's fine. Uh, over here though, is the problem. This is the noise we're hearing. The sway bar bolt has broken. So we're gonna swap that out. Holding the sway bar bushing to the frame, you've got a couple of 10 millimeter bolts. I would always recommend using eye protection when you're underneath the vehicle. The rust will uh, get down and bother you. Holding the link end, you have this this through bolt. This is a 15 millimeter, and there's also a 15 millimeter nut on the top side. These can be real hard to get off. I've got a very strong torque wrench or impact wrench here. But if that doesn't work for you, if you don't have one of those, but you do have one of these, I highly recommend you just cut it off. It's not worth messing around with those rusty bolts. There's not much about this job that's sensitive in nature. There's gonna be a lot of hammers. This is the, the broken one. You can see where it just snapped off. And everything in here is bound up pretty tight. Can't really do much about that. So for installation, I recommend that you get everything in loose before you bolt anything down tight. So I've already set up the left-hand side. So here's the replacement piece. This is a 17 millimeter. I believe it's just a larger bolt head. The actual uh, bolt itself looks to be about the same. All right, so then this goes through. Make sure you have washer, washer, and then spacer. Another washer. I'm sorry, another uh, bushing spacer. Sorry, that's another bushing. So it goes, uh, you've got the bolt, the washer. You've got a bushing, two bushings. Make sure that the pointy end is going in towards the A-arm, both top and bottom. And then that you do the same up here at the top. Push that through the control arm. And then the same thing, so bushing. Um, washer. And then the nut. So as with many things, you have choices. You can choose to fight with this thing or you can try to work a little bit differently. And as we've seen so far, the Sawzall can be your friend 
Unfortunately, this is not a Sawzall moment, but I am gonna try the strap to see if I can pull this darn down. This is just a friction strap. But should give me enough pull to get this nut started. Today's Sunday, so it's a good day for mowing the lawn. Neighbors out mowing the lawn. Enjoy the background music while I fight with this. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. That was easier. Okay, everything is in, all the bolts are started. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these up. Uh, probably do a little bit at a time. We'll snug this down, then we'll tighten this up, snug this down, tighten that up until we get everything where we want it. As far as how much to tighten these, I like to leave about the same amount of leave about the same amount that was um, sticking out before. So I had just about an inch or so on this guy that was sticking out. Uh, the other thing is just be mindful you want to make sure that you keep that you don't tighten it up so much that the metal is hitting the metal here so that looks pretty good should be giving much better performance than i had before hey thanks for watching my video i appreciate it if you like this video please uh, consider hitting that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and you'll see other videos like this in the future thanks